Apple has recently launched a high yield savings account um, and we should not be surprised that tech companies start to venture into financial services. Companies like Meta, like Amazon, like Alibaba, uh, Tencent, all of them have a financial services approach. Same for Apple and they have been very successful so far. According to Forbes, uh, more than $1 billion has been deposited uh, on those Apple savings accounts in just a few days. They convinced more than 250,000 people to start saving at Apple, which shows that even a tech company can be seen as a trusted party. This also fits in a line of financial products which Apple has already launched. First of all, they launched Apple Pay, a wallet solution. Next, uh, they have the Apple credit card together with Goldman Sachs. They also have Apple Pay Later for those people who shop online and need credit at checkouts. And now they have launched Apple Savings. So it fits into their entire line of financial services products. What Apple is doing is not surprising. They are a strong ecosystem player. So what they are doing is at the core, they are a production company. They make devices, iPhones, iPads, uh, all sorts of devices. And then they partner with third parties to complement uh, whatever their core offering is. Exactly the same for this Apple savings account. They partner with a bank, with Goldman Sachs, so they don't take that financial services risk. Huh? In essence, it is a uh, Goldman Sachs account, so they basically shift the financial services risk to the third uh, party. Uh, this is what Apple does. This is what many tech companies typically do. They have their own core offering and then they look to third parties for complementary products and services. Today, Apple's financial services offering is mainly focused on the US. I mean, if we compare to Europe, we only have Apple Pay available, but no credit card, no buy now, pay later solution, no Apple saving. And there's a reason for that, uh, because the US is a homogeneous market. Uh, you can partner with one company, Goldman Sachs, and cover the entire territory. That's not the case in Europe. Banking is still a very local business, uh, a national business. So if they would come with these financial products uh, to Europe, they will have to partner with each of the different local banks. It's not impossible. They did it before at the launch of the iPhone, partnering with different telco providers. It is just way much effort that they have to put into it. So will it come? Possibly, but it will take some extra time to build all of these local partnerships. So one of the main trends we see is that financial services is moving much more towards uh, the tech industry and that big tech is moving into financial services. Um, so that means that if we look at banking, financial services in general, there is uh, yeah, uh, two main trends on which uh, they are focusing. First of all, everything that has to do with AI. Uh, that's the move towards more embedded and contextual banking, making sure that you get the right offer at the right moment uh, for insurance companies, knowing you know, what your risks are specifically uh, for you, at what moment you need to be insured uh, in banking and financial services, you know, helping you specifically in your wealth management solutions, which you need. So really making optimal use of all of the data which is available. That's one trend which we see. A second trend we see is that banks start to focus more on everything that has to do with Web3 and Metaverse. Banks start to explore crypto wallets, crypto solutions, work together with central banks on central bank digital currencies, uh, also explore how they can uh, play a role in uh, storing digital assets for companies. And finally, a trend we see is uh, the focus on spatial computing. Apple has recently launched their new headset, their VR, AR uh, headset. Um, and there again, financial services and tech come together because uh, how convenient uh, can it be if you have an, an Apple device on your head uh, uh, that now you have integrated payments and your integrated savings account all available in that Apple ecosystem. So also there, financial services and tech are starting to merge together.